Hi guys, it's Luton here, and um, I'm back today with another episode of uh, I'm No Philosopher. <laughs> now, it actually wasn't called that originally. Um, I just started off, this was a long time ago, a good six, seven months, and uh, some of my early subscribers will remember. I posted a video, and I was just talking about myself, my principles, things that I think about, and it went down really well. People really enjoyed it. Back then, I was only getting maybe four or 500 uh, views per video, and then this video got 1,500. So for me, it was a big deal. It was a good way to see the kind of people People, you know the kind of things that people wanted to see and that they liked me talking about and that's where we're back today and um, the first topic that I really wanted to talk about um, out of a couple I'll just try and go over the whole sort of sphere today it's all really about you know sort of principles and respecting of things now myself as a gamer I've been playing for a long time long time 20 years minimum and in that time I've had a lot of experiences with other people now, the thing that, first of all, this week has come to my mind is respecting other people, but also sticking to your principles. Not being scared to say, you know, I actually disagree with you, and I'm going to take a stand, and I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, I don't want to associate with you anymore. And this has happened to me a few times through gaming, and overall, I think that the best thing is, is that if you can stick to what you believe, it doesn't matter what other people come say or try and turn it around onto yourself. And this is a good kind of principle in life in general. Um, I really am one for sticking to what I think. And that doesn't mean to say as well, I should say, that you refuse to listen to other people and just say, well, this is what I think, and to hell with you. That, that's not it at all. It's more about sort of, we're talking about principles in terms of how you relate to other people, not so much specific things that you believe. So it's more along the lines of like, I believe that someone should be treated in a certain way or not treated in a certain way, and I'm going to really stick to that. And so yeah, this is where it comes to. And I've had lots of issues, as I say, throughout gaming with other people, plenty of World of Warcraft, because World of Warcraft is such a, a chatty game. You have lots of uh, interferences with other people, loads of uh, transactions and issues like that, and loads of in-game, you know, you spend a huge amount of time with people in that game, a lot of time. You're often online with some people for sort of seven, eight hours perhaps, and uh, throughout the weeks and months, you're going to have times when these things become an issue, or you have a gripe with someone, you don't like the way they do things, and so on and so on. But to bring things more up to date and to speed with where we're at right now, what I really relate this to is often with YouTube, you get a lot of people with different opinions, different issues and things like this, and things that they, they think or say. And my thing really with this is that if somebody says something and I really find it cuts to the core of what I really think, I'm not afraid to say to that person, I'm really sorry, but if that's what you think, I don't really want to be you know, associated with you. And I think this is something that I carry throughout, you know, a lot of things that I've done before is that I'm not afraid to kind of say to someone, really sorry, but, you know, we had, we got along before and now I just don't want to have anything to do with you. And I think it's a shame when people do this, but often it's a case that they've kind of made a choice or done something which was really very unnecessary and they've taken it upon themselves. And it kind of leads me on into the next thing. And it, it's all kind of into twined today. I don't have any specific examples either because I don't like bringing up two specific examples often because I'm, I can kind of chat on with them. They can be a bit long-winded. But it also comes into this other thing. Now, I saw an article today on Twitter um, which I picked up on Red. I, I messaged the uh, writer. It's from a site called uh, Polygon.com. It's like a gaming review site, same along with... Well, it's not a review site. It's more like a news media site um, like Kotaku and uh, Joystick and stuff like this. Very good. Um, and what they were writing about was this uh, campaign started up by a guy from Australia and it's called uh, Iron Ribbon and it's basically about, it's a, it's a campaign about respecting other gamers and not hurling abuse at other people, respecting their opinions and so on and so on. So it really is trying to bring the sort of uh, maturity level of gaming back a bit because there was a time when all this kind of crazy trash talking that goes on, all the really nasty abuse that you see throughout the internet as well it never really happened because I think gaming also it didn't used to be so you know it, it obviously was not so anonymous it was not so um, unaccountable whereas now it's very unaccountable very anonymous where people don't have to worry about anything but obviously 
previously, like this before we had huge internet gaming, it was all very much there. If so, if your friend is sitting in the room with you whilst you're playing a game, you're not going to turn around and go, F you, you effing blah blah blah, your mother and, you know, I do this to your sister and blah blah blah, you know, or if, it, if, there was, if you had a female friend around or this guy's girlfriend around, you're not going to start telling him what you want to do to her because she beat you in a round or something like this. It's, it's not going to happen because they'd probably, I don't know, smash your face in. <laughs> Um, but online, it's very easy for people to kind of start throwing these things around. But to put all that aside, it's not even about that. It's just about the fact that everyone is a gamer, everyone's playing within the sphere of video game culture, and nobody deserves to be spoken to in this way. It also ties in with another video that I, I made with my partner, uh, Mana, this week, and uh, that one at my gaming channel, and um, that video was about girls in gaming, and um, that ties in with another whole topic. If you want to watch that video, I'll link it below. I would suggest you go and check it out. Also, on an aside note, if you check it out and you like my gaming stuff, there's my new gaming channel as well, so you might want to check that out. But, um, Yes, what we talked about in that video was girls and gaming and some of the issues around that and specifically some of the issues with um, actually how female gamers can present themselves in different aspects and um, obviously my girlfriend as a female gamer had you know her own perspectives on this. But it was also interesting, I, I talked to a couple of other uh, female gamers that I know, uh, my friend Andra who I played tons of World of Warcraft with for years and years and, and she had some really kind of agreeable opinions on this as well but it's going to be a topic that I kind of roll on because I think it's quite interesting and it's been uh, sort of fairly current in, in sort of news and media at the moment so that's one thing but but this campaign is called Iron Ribbon and um, I'm definitely going to sort of try and support it see if we can go somewhere with it um, because I think it's very worthwhile whether it will amount to things we'll have to see as it goes along but um, I'll put the details below in the notes and I'll link the site and so on and so on and I'll probably be putting the logo up to support it it's literally a case of supporting it just continuing the beliefs if you want to you can sign up and they'll make you aware of things you can just um, drop your email to the links and I've, I've got the links below and um, yes it's just a, a sort of um, a pledge really to say you know I don't believe that people should have to suffer abuse when they play games online I agree with that I've always agreed with that I don't think there's any need for it I think it's fully unnecessary and um, when people say, well, this is just something that, that happens online, this is the key issue here. When people say, it's just what happens online, you know, get used to it, it's always going to be there. No, I, I do not accept that. And I don't think people should accept that either. Because to say that is you're just becoming part of the problem. And if you believe that that's the case as well, you're part of the problem already. Because to, to, to sort of to give up and, and not agree or, or to sort of take it as read that this is going to be something that always happens and, and this is also the case a lot of female gamers um, when they play they almost are, are prepared for this they're prepared to take tons of sexual uh, verbal abuse because they just know that that's how it's going to be I f think that is fully unacceptable I think there is no reason whatsoever for that and I don't think that anybody should have to take that kind of bullying abuse just because people think that that's how it is that's rubbish so that's what this campaign is about and um, I think that you guys as my subscribers I think you'll definitely be on board with this because I know you guys and I know that you are sort of on board with my mentality of things and I think that you for the most part will agree um, so I'll put it all there so this brings me into the final part and it all again is it's tied in with the first and second issue of the topic here and it's about people in general and something that I've noticed is that um, I don't know I never had this myself I I don't know whether it's just my upbringing or where I grew up but I've never felt the need to sort of immediately freak out when someone challenges me personally but um, having moved to London and um, also just being more active generally online in the last few years I've really noticed that, and I think as well when you see in advertising and TV and all these kind of things, it seems to be that people really cannot handle personal confrontations anymore in terms of what I mean is they spiral things out of control almost instantly. They, they, you know, if somebody says to you, you're crap or what the hell do you think you're doing there or all these kind of things um you know for example i, I nearly started a fight one time uh when i was just in a, a fast food restaurant in london um because this guy there was a huge queue of people 
there were families and all these kind of things and everyone was lined up in these nice little queues now I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on this one because it'll take too long but in essence there was lots of little kids and things and I'd already been waiting in line there was a good six people in front of me and uh, I've been waiting there for sort of five six minutes you know it's not a huge amount of time but you know when you're standing still doing nothing it can feel like longer and as I say there's people starting to come in behind me this guy comes in and uh, he's probably about 40 to 50 years old so he's not a, a young guy um, he was dressed pretty smart, had a smart umbrella and everything, so he was obviously a businessman. He obviously looked at the queues and thought, nah, I'm not waiting for that. And he started to walk towards the front. And I was just like, I'm not taking that. You know, I'm not taking that from this guy who just thinks that he can push through because, let's face it, in, in England, um, people are not very good at sort of voicing their opinion towards others. They tend to sort of go, oh, that's a bit annoying, and they don't really do anything about it. But this just pissed me off to be honest I really things like that get right under my skin and I just sort of moved forward and I said to this guy what the hell do you think you're doing I said loads of people have been waiting much longer than you get to the back he really didn't take this very well <laughs> and we had a massive uh, verbal row there for about a few minutes this guy shouting at me and sort of giving me a load of abuse but I you know I was ready for that and I was not prepared to take it to be honest I just sort of stood there but the thing was and this is the point I didn't suddenly t get very verbal and angry and all this kind of stuff. I just said, look, you know, I don't care about what you're telling me here. I said, there's no argument. You're pushing in front of all these people. There's people with families here. And I was just very straight to the point. I wasn't angry and I wasn't shouting at him, but I was very to the point and I just stuck to what I was saying. In the end, he was so embarrassed by all the other people around and the fact that I pretty much brought him up on it. He sort of, he didn't refuse, he didn't go right to the back, but he sort of stayed in the middle of the line and he clearly was very unsettled by it. And, it, and the funny thing was as well, by the time we actually got to the counter, he was a couple behind me, he got his food. And uh, as I was walking away, he said to me, he was like, I hope you choke on it. Now, this coming from a man who was 40 to 50 years old, I'm only in my late twenties. This guy, just how pathetic is that? He clearly must be a family man. He clearly must have perhaps even grandchildren, depending on his own sort of family situation. How pathetic to be arguing with someone like me in a public place like this just because he was so impatient he dared to sort of push in front of other people, other people with kids. So this is what I'm talking about, that people take the small situation and blow it way out of proportion straight away. And I've seen it all around and I see it all the time and I see it online, this is where it's coming back to. And also it's really important that I do bring this back to an online issue because you guys know that I hate it when people make videos just talking about any random crap that's happened in their day. Nope, that's not at all. I was just using an analogy to point out the principle that I'm talking about. Now, as I say, when you bring this back to online, it's very much the same. If somebody makes a comment on a video or Twitter or anything like this, if someone challenges it or they say I disagree or they even have a different opinion and they sort of say something towards it, it very quickly escalates from being, I have a different opinion to you, to, you don't know anything, you effing ignorant, blah, 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 and it becomes this torrent of abuse. Now, for a start off, it doesn't reflect very well on those people, because what it pretty much shows is that they don't have any ability to have a reasonable discussion. They don't have any ability to command any sort of wordage. They don't have any ability to sort of think about their own opinion and say, well, you know, I hear what you're saying, but I disagree with you, and here's why, and then list the reasons why they disagree, hopefully to try and change that person's opinion. But as we know, sometimes people have very strong opinions and they can't change them. At that point, I would usually say, well, I really see what you're saying, but I disagree, and therefore we're going to have to agree to disagree. It's pretty simple and that's all there is to it. But people don't take conflict well and they don't take challenges well. And I think what it boils down to is that our society has become very built around individuals now. We're constantly being told that we're individual and unique and that because of that we should express it by buying different things that express how unique and individual we are. And in the process it's meant that we very much feel like it's us versus the world. If you think about it right back to when you were at school, you're told that you know you have to do this, you have to do that, it's all about yourself, nobody's going to do it for you, it's you versus the world, you've got to fight and you've got to make your way through so that you're successful. So we have this feeling sort of inset into us and bear in mind I'm no philosopher, haha <laughs> you see what I did there. No, I have not had any studying in philosophy, psychology or any of these kind of things so it's just my own musings so feel free to tear it apart break it up that's your prerogative but the thing is is that I really feel that the way we are sort of set and directed nowadays it directly comes back into how we relate to other people and I think that 
often people struggle with this idea of challenging and someone conflicting because they immediately go on to a defensive stance point. They don't feel confident to just say, well, you know, I hear what you're saying, but actually I really disagree and, you know, I feel confident in what I believe, so I don't need to get all angry about that. They don't, they sort of feel like somehow they've been slighted, that the very act of daring to challenge somebody else's opinion is a personal attack on themselves and therefore they have to defend themselves in the strongest way possible because anything else is just a sign of weakness. It's not. You know, disagreeing with someone and not feeling that you have to really challenge them in a strong way back again is not a sign of weakness. It just shows that you're so confident in your own belief that you don't really need to point out and challenge and take them down or, you know, have a big verbal back and forth. It's really not necessary. So as with so many things that I find interesting, I find this very interesting as well. I find it interesting that the people can escalate things so quickly and the people that they have related to quite closely can suddenly become enemies. And um, this is also something that happens very often in gaming and um, it's something that I've learned is that you should never really trust uh, people that you are online with fully because you really don't know those people. I've had many instances where I've had people in guilds and clans who I have felt are very good friends, I've felt very trustworthy with them, only in the space of a day for that for them to turn around and really stab you in the back in a very often quite prolific way and it really shows that you don't really know people that you're talking to online you really don't know them and this is also highlights very well when people are making comments you often make comments literally based on the sentence that someone's speaking about you don't know them so you need to keep that in mind you don't know what they've been through you don't know what issues they have um, I don't mean that in a really negative way I mean you don't know what problems they have with their life or what day they've had and you know maybe they've had a really bad day you need to try and keep it in mind um, analogy for this one is often when I'm driving and I see someone driving very slow a lot of people get angry very quickly if someone's driving slow I always think to myself well maybe they've had a terrible grievance maybe they're feeling extremely unwell and they're driving slowly to try and get to the hospital maybe they have something incredibly fragile in the car you don't know and that is the point and it's the same with online if someone's making a comment online you don't know necessarily what their standpoint is and therefore you should try and keep that in mind when you're making your reply to that person but to bring it back i am always surprised when people can be so quick to turn on people who previously they fairly befriended and this has happened to me very recently and um, it, it's just quite awful and it saddens me greatly it really does actually sadden me um, when people who you had a fairly reasonable rapport with someone who you could talk to and you know you have a bit of fun and from, from some very small thing suddenly that person can turn extremely acidic and become really quite spiteful nasty vicious and really turn on you in a, a bad way and um, as I say, I, I just find it very sad. I really do. I don't think there's anything else. It's, I don't feel angry or resentful towards that person. I just think it's a shame. It's a real shame that people can be so quick to dismiss others and that they can turn on people who they really did sort of, for the most part, get on well with previously, even if it was a more kind of association rather than a proper friendship. It's still you have that courtesy there. And to literally just turn on someone, I often think is, is a really sad thing. So this comes back to the final thing I want to say again is the iron ribbon thing and it all kind of ties in this idea that you shouldn't expect to suffer abuse online you shouldn't just take it as read that it's a forewritten thing that's going to happen because it's just about enjoying the atmosphere the culture and the world of gaming online together and sex race religion culture all these things should not come into it because that's not what it's about it's about involving yourself with other people and you know having a good experience that's the purpose of all of it and i really you know people say as well this is the last thing as well is that you know they say well it, that's just what happens and you should learn to take it because you know if you haven't got thick skin enough then you shouldn't be involved in the first place that's crap okay it's not about that, okay? No one should be expecting this. No one should have to suffer it just because it's one of those things. That's a load of rubbish. And that's why I really want to get behind this Iron Ribbon campaign. I would like it if people can support it as well. And as I say, I don't know how big this thing is going to be, how much it will grow, but the very fact that it's been mentioned on a very large site like Polygon.com, I hope that it will spread to other things as well. And the more people that get behind it and say, you know, this is unacceptable things start off very small and they start to snowball very quickly and when you look at things like for example drink driving drink driving at one time was considered you know not the best thing but it wasn't that bad it was just like oh well 
it'll probably be okay. Now, it's extremely socially unacceptable. If you were drinking and you were like, I'm going to drive home, I know a lot of people would be like, what, what the hell are you thinking? You, you know, get, you know, they would lose a lot of respect for you. And it should be the same as well. Being extremely abusive to other people online, it shouldn't be funny. It shouldn't be something to just dismiss. It should be socially unacceptable. Anyone who's very abusive to other people online, they should, you know, really expect other people to say, wow, you know, I didn't expect that from you and I don't really want to associate with you because of it. That's really the response that they should get, not, oh my God, that was funny. You so, uh, ah, yeah. No, it shouldn't be like that. So as always, there's a lot to think about here, and uh, I look forward to reading your comments and opinions. I know they're not all going to be in agreement, some will disagree, no doubt. But um, yeah, have a good think about this, and really tell me what you think. I'll leave all the links below, because I'm hoping that people are going to want to get behind this and be involved with it. Um, as I say, it doesn't even take much. It's literally just a case of saying, I support this. That's all it is. It's not like you have to do anything. It's just literally a, a standpoint to say, this is what I'm on board with. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please, as always, rate and share this video, because I think a lot of people should see this and have an opinion about this one. So share it around, and I'll see you back here for some more content from me very soon.